Hello, everyone. Today is Erev Pesach, a very busy day, a very hectic day, uh, a day because it's filled with uh, mitzvos and get ready for more mitzvos. Uh, and uh, it needs to be a busy day, but I hope it's not too busy, not too hectic, and we can prepare and get ready uh, in all ways, uh, practically, spiritually, get ready to have a really incredible, inspiring uh, Siddharm tonight and tomorrow night with our family and friends. The central mitzvah of the Seder is, of course, the mitzvah of Sipor Yitzias Mitzrayim, to relate, to discuss the exodus that Hashem took us out of Egypt and all the miracles that are part of that story. But there is a mitzvah of Zechiras Yitzias Mitzrayim, to recall the exodus every single day, which we fulfill in the third paragraph of Shema. What is the difference between that daily mitzvah and the special mitzvah tonight? What should we be doing different tonight? Manishtana Halayla Hazat. What should we be focusing on to take ourselves from the regular mitzvah to the once a year mitzvah? The classical commentaries point out several differences. The daily mitzvah is just to remember it, to mention it in a sentence, but the mitzvah at the Seder night should be elaborated. And the more you speak, the more the better. Uh, the re regular daily mitzvah is uh, a private mitzvah that a person does himself or herself by recalling the Exodus. But the mitzvah tonight is specifically to relate to others if there are children, to relate to the children. If there are no children, to relate to uh, and share and discuss uh, with others. So that is also um, uh, a difference. But there is another difference uh, between uh, the two mitzvahs, the daily mitzvah and the special mitzvah tonight, uh, that emerges with a careful reading of the Rambam. The Rambam in his Sefer Mitzvos, in his book of Mitzvos, writes that the mitzvah is she tzivanu lisaper b'tzius Yisrael b'el chamish asar to relate and discuss the Exodus, the leaving of Egypt on the fifteenth, the night of the fifteenth of Nisan. V'chomashi yosef b'mayim rabbi arch b'dvarim and whoever elaborates and adds more, u'bahodos lo yisparach in relating what happened and in our thanksgiving, in our praising of Hashem harayza meshubach. Part of the mitzvah of Sifor Yitzias Mitzrayim, which does not, uh, uh, which is not present during the year, is to not only relate the historical facts, but to thank Hashem for them, to praise Him. That is why Halal was uh, incorporated into the Seder uh, with the mitzvah of Sifor Yitzias Mitzrayim. And this is rooted in the Psukim of the Torah themselves. When the Torah is describing how we should respond to the different children and their questions, in one response we say, Vaitena Hashem osanu mofsimu gedolim and Hashem performed all these great miracles and signs. Vosanu hotzimi shaman he took us out of Egypt to bring us to this wonderful land. Vaitaveno Hashem lasos is kol chukim ha'elan he gave us all of these mitzvos litov lanu for good for our benefit. Utstaka tialanu and it is it is a, a charity that he bestowed upon us. Or in the other responses we say. Bavor zeh asa Hashem libet seis Yisrael, and that's what Hashem did for me. There's a sense of it's a personal connection that Hashem did it for me. It's uh, there's a sense of our appreciation of how amazing the miracle was, how lucky we were, how fortunate. Why Hashem would have chosen us when we didn't deserve it, and He gave us the Torah, and He saved us, and He made us His people. Part of the mitzvah of sipor yitzias Yisrael, the night of the seder, is to feel personally connected. During the year, it's about knowing our Jewish history. The historical facts. Every day we recall that yes, we were slaves, but Hashem took us out. But tonight, we are meant to experience that to feel personal, a personal connection. Bavorza asa Hashem li, Hashem did this to me. Hashem chose me. I'm part of that chosen people. If my soul was sent down into this world, that means Hashem chose me to be part of the chosen people. That I, my ancestors, were taken out of Mitzrayim. Hashem. Uh, liberated us. He freed us as an expression of love, and he gave us the the, the Torah. He gave us what is the in most incredible tov in the world: our Masorah, our tradition, our sense of Jewish identity, of being part of the Jewish people. And so that is part of the mitzvah uh, tonight. Uh, as I always recall, make sure you stay up for Hallel. Hallel is the high point of uh, of the seder. Tonight we should be inspired. We should reflect, we should look around the table, we should be thankful, we should be appreciative. That's part of the mitzvah, according to the Ram, to be thankful and to thank Hashem, to praise Hashem for taking us out of Egypt and everything that follows that, the giving of the Torah, the making of the Jewish people, Jewish history, that we are part of that story. Tonight, we thank Hashem for everything. 
every good thing that we have in our lives is ultimately part of our story, being part of the Jewish people, part of Jewish history. Tonight, we thank Hashem for everything. We praise Hashem for everything. We sing Hallel. Uh, and hopefully, we all have a lot to be thankful that for this year. Uh, we are uh, experiencing um, uh, in our own personal lives um, uh, a more free uh, Pesach this year as opposed to the past two years. And, and even with some of the troubles uh, that the Jewish people and the world face right now, and we daven that uh, they should see a redemption and a salvation. There should be a gula in this month of Nisan. But we thank Hashem for everything that we have in our lives. And tonight, the most thing is to be joyous, to be happy, to be appreciative, to be thankful, and to sing Hallel to Hashem. I hope everyone has a wonderful Seder with their friends and family, wherever you may be, Brookline or elsewhere. Uh, and I look forward to seeing everyone who I'll get to see over Pesach. Chag Kasher, Vesameach.